MetaQuotes, the developer of the IBFX MT4 software, has recently released their Signals service for MT4, and IBFX is now offering it to our clients. This new service allows traders to connect to any of MetaQuotes pre-approved signal providers. By subscribing to a signal, all of the provider's trades will be copied to your trading account. The reliability of all available signal providers is checked carefully by MetaQuotes to provide maximum security. Before getting started, let me add that this service is provided by MetaQuotes and not by IBFX. Anyone can sign up to be a signal provider, and the quality of signal providers has not been verified by IBFX. This video is meant to show you how to use the Signals service through MT4, and we make no recommendations or guarantees with regards to this service or any specific signal provider. Let me show you how to get started using the Signals service provided by MetaQuotes. First of all, you must have a demo or a live account with IBFX. To open a demo account with IBFX, please go to www.ibfx.com.au slash platform slash forex dash trading dash platform. To open a live account with IBFX, please go to www.ibfx.com dot au slash sign up. Once you have an account and are logged into it on the trading platform, the next step is to open a user account with MetaQuotes. To open a user account with MetaQuotes, please go to www.mql5.com. In the top right hand corner of this website, select registration. Now, create your login and password and then select register. You will receive an email from MetaQuotes with your login information and a link to confirm your new user account with them. You must click on the link in this email to confirm your user account before you may proceed to the next step. After clicking on the confirmation link, you will be directed to a web page confirming that your user account has been activated. Now that you have created your user account, you must enter this information into your trading platform to establish the link between them. To do this, open your trading platform and go to Tools, then to Options, then to the Community tab. Enter the MQL5.com login and password you just created and select OK. Now, down in the terminal window at the bottom of your trading platform, you will notice the Signals tab. Select it to view the different signal providers available. You will notice that the different signals are color-coded. A gray icon means that this signal is currently in testing mode. Every paid signal goes through a mandatory 30-day trial period to check its quality and for gathering trade statistics. During this test period, the signal cannot be subscribed to but you can look at how it's currently doing. A green icon means the signal is coming from a demo account. When considering a demo signal, please keep in mind that demo accounts allow traders to take on risks that may be unacceptable for a real trading account. A blue signal means that the signal is from a contest account, such as the MetaQuotes Automated Trading Championship. And finally, a gold icon means the signal is coming from a real account where real money is being traded. To view more information on a particular signal, simply double left click on it. This details page shows the complete trading statistics of the signal account, including the history of trading operations and the current state of any open trading positions. You will find the same information on the signals section of the MQL5.com website. You can subscribe to a signal through the MQL5.com website or through your trading platform. In this video, I will show you how to subscribe to a signal through your trading platform. When you are satisfied with a signal, including its price, you can subscribe to it by clicking on the subscribe button. The subscription settings window will appear. Please notice the date section, which indicates the duration of the subscription. Subscription to a signal source through the platform terminal window will be set with standard duration parameters, meaning the current day will be set as the start date 
and the duration will be set to one month. For access to a weekly subscription option, you must subscribe to the Signals service through the MQL5.com website. Next, if this is your first time using this service, select the link that says, I agree to the terms of use of the signal service. This will open a web page that will allow you to review the terms and conditions you are agreeing to with MetaQuotes. Please read this carefully, particularly the payment section if you are subscribing to a paid signal. Your MQL5.com account should have sufficient funds in it to cover any subscription fees. IBFX is not responsible for your payments to MetaQuotes for these services. All billing for your paid signal subscriptions are handled through your user account at mql5.com where you must have funds on deposit with them before you may subscribe to a paid signal. If you agree to use this service under these terms and conditions, please check the I agree box and then enter the password for your mql5.com user account. Before you click OK, please pay attention to any information in the mismatched trading conditions window. This window details the mismatched trading conditions between the provider's account at their broker and your account at your broker. If the provider is trading from a different broker and or a different server at the same broker, then there will most likely be mismatched trading conditions. The mismatched trading conditions will negatively affect the execution of orders sent by the provider to you, the subscriber. For example, if there is a symbol used by the provider that is not available on the subscriber's account, the copying of the signals for that symbol will be impossible. Note that symbol names must match exactly and may not be uniform from broker to broker. If you would still like to proceed, select OK. After selecting OK on a subscription, it's time to configure the signal settings on the platform. When subscribing from the platform, this window will appear automatically. If you subscribe to a signal from the MQL5.com website, you must now come back to the trading platform and go to Tools, then to Options, then here to the Signals tab. You must again agree to the terms of use of the signal service by putting a check in this box. Before the signals from this subscription can be copied to your trading account, you must check the Enable Real-Time Signal Subscription option. This third option here is not yet available and in the future will allow signals to be copied to your trading account even if you're not logged into your trading account or your trading platform is closed. The Copy Stop Loss and Take Profit Levels options will allow the provider's stop loss and take profit levels to be added to the trades that are copied to your account. The Use No More Than X Percentage of Deposit option allows you to set a limit on how much of your account balance can be used for following a provider's signals. This amount affects the calculation of the volume or the lot size of the trades placed on your account when following the signals as the volume will be calculated proportionately. For more information on this topic, please read the section titled Copying Trading Operations Volume Calculation in the Signals Subscribers section of the Platform User Guide. The Stop If Equity Is Less Than option allows you to limit losses when using the signals service. If your account equity drops below this specific level, copying of trade signals will be automatically terminated, all open positions will be closed, and all pending orders will be deleted. Zero here means there is no limitation set. The deviation slippage option will have no effect when trading with IBFX because IBFX does not requote orders. When you have made your desired selections, press OK. Your trading account will now start synchronization with the provider's account. The synchronization of the subscriber's and provider's accounts is necessary to bring their trading operations into a unified initial state. There are two requirements that must be met in order for synchronization to complete successfully. First, the subscriber's account must not have any open positions or pending orders. And second, the total floating profit of all of the provider's positions must be negative. This allows the subscriber to enter the market at a price that is better than the provider's open price. Synchronization will not be completed and trades will not be copied to the subscriber's account until both of these requirements are met. If the first condition is not met, 
you will see this error. If the second condition is not met, you will see this error. Carefully read the recommendations described in the dialog window and make your selection based on how you would like to proceed. Here are a few more things you must keep in mind when using the signal service. 1. After the subscribers and providers accounts are successfully synchronized, copying of trading operations will start. This is done automatically. 2. While you are subscribed to a signal, do not perform any trade operations either manually or via an expert advisor. This will lead to unsynchronization of the subscriber and provider's accounts. 3. To copy trade operations to an account, you must always be logged into the account that is subscribed to the signal service. And 4. You may only have one subscription per trading account. After you have subscribed to a signal, you can manage your subscription through the Signals tab in the terminal window. To look at the signal you are currently subscribed to, right-click anywhere in the viewing area of the Signals tab and select My Subscription. The first thing you'll notice here is the duration of the subscription here in yellow. If you would like to continue using the same subscription, you must renew the subscription before it ends. Your subscription will not renew automatically. You must come here and select the Renew Subscription button before the end of the subscription period to avoid interruption of the service. In the Confirmation window, select the I Agree box, and then enter the password for your MQL5.com user account. And then select OK. Again, only monthly subscriptions can be done through the trading platform. For weekly subscriptions, Please log in to your user account on the MQL5.com website and renew your subscription there. To stop a subscription, please select the Unsubscribe button. In the confirmation window, select OK. For additional information about the Signal service, please see the User's Guide on your trading platform by going to Help, then to Help Topics. Specific topics you may want to search for include Signals, Signals Subscribers, and Signals Providers.